Thank you, Adam. All right, we're going to go to October Red now. Hi, good afternoon, Amir. Uh, Ab from October Red Boxing. Nice to finally get to speak to you. Uh, well, all you, the you best do. on your up and coming match. But one of the things I wanted to touch on, and it sort of like follows on from what Adam said, it's about the trainer. The continuity yeah. with the trainer, you've mentioned, obviously, yeah. that Crawford's uh, trainer has had Crawford when he's beat the both of you. Correct. He's obviously embedded with that with his fighter. Correct. Kel has sort of like uh, alluded to the fact that he has been with his trainer from the beginning. He's got that continuity. He believes that you having another trainer yet again will serve as a disadvantage. Yeah. What are your okay. thoughts on that? My thoughts to that is this now. You know, when you're with a trainer uh, who, like for, like a Bomak, who's one of the best trainers in the world, he's training the likes of Crawford and yeah. Jamal Herring and even Shakur Stevenson. You don't want to come in a camp like this and not give it your all. You have to show them that you still have it in you to perform at the best. Now, I know for a fact that if I went back to Virgil Hunter, I'm going back in my comfort comfortable zone. I'm going to be comfortable with him. I know how easy it's going to be. I know for a fact when I'm here with Bomak and the guys, I'm uncomfortable. I'm not. I'm not like. I'm. Not, I'm not chilled. I'm not like. Oh yeah, I'm just going to go and do this. I'll get away with doing this. I can't get away with anything. I've got two trainers watching me 24-7. When I'm in that gym, when I step in that gym, there's always someone watching me. One watching my feet, one watching my hands, one watching uh, the game, one making sure I'm sticking to the game plan. Whereas with Kel, he can, he, he, he'll have it, he'll have it a little bit easier because he'll find it more comfortable working with, working with a trainer like uh, Dominic because he's been with him for so long. He knows how the system works. See, for me, it's not like that because I know for a fact, if I'm not training hard here, they tell me to go home or they, they lose that respect for me. The way, you, the way one thing I realized is when you get a new trainer, you have to earn your respect. And the way you earn your respect is by training hard, working hard, and sparring these tough guys. I've come to America. I'm in Colorado Springs. I'm sparring these tough young fighters who Crawford spars with, who uh, the, Jamel and them other guys spar with. They're sparring with me now. Now I have to make sure I look really good against them. Because I want, I'm still, I still, I still see myself as one of the top guys out there. So, and I, and they still, they still, obviously, when they see me, uh, they still know that Amir is such a big name. They have that respect for me, and I could see that when I first ever walked into that gym, like everyone's eyes lit up. Oh, Amir Khan's here, and they're taking pictures of me. Now, for me, that kind of put a little bit of pressure on me because I have to perform now to show these people I still have it in me. And why they want to take a selfie with me, why they want to take a picture with me, why they want to allow me to train with them is because they remember me being good, but I have to still be good. And I have to still stick of being the best out there. So um, so that's, that's, what's, that's what my um, aim was to come here, is to have that still in me that, look, I have to prove to them that I belong here. Otherwise, there's been many fighters that want to come here and train here, but they've said no to them. So I had to work hard and show them that I, st I'm st I still have it in me to belong in this training camp. Last thing they want is after they've, they've got pound for pound best fighters in the world, they've got people like Shakos, Shakos training here who's one of them, who in the future will be pound for pound in my opinion. Last thing they want is having someone like a beat up guy to come here and, and, and it puts the team down. Nah, I can't do that. You know, I, they don't, they want to do that. They got too much, they got too much pride. And and it's good for me to uh, know that because it makes me train hard. I like that. It's like the philosophy of getting comfortable with being uncomfortable to keep your razor sharp. Hundred percent. But all the like, best. No, I, I understand what you're saying. There is it's true because I you remember when I used to do training camps with like Virgil Hunter and other trainers who you used to, and it becomes easy because you know exactly what to do. You know the days off you're having. Hey, I've had no days off. Like I've had some days off, half days off. I've had some easy days and some hard days. I just don't know what to expect with these guys. You know, I mean, every day is a different day. Whereas with Freddie and other coaches, I used to know what to expect. So you become comfortable with that. I mean, I'm not, I'm very uncomfortable here, you know, but it's tough. It's bringing the best out of me. Awesome. Right. Thank you very much for your time.